Yeah, hey, Jalen. Um, can you talk about the Alabama's got some speedy receivers and they've had a knack for the deep ball in the first couple of games. How much pressure does that put on? And do you have to be always aware of that of that threat, um, especially on third and long? They've had some success. Oh, yeah. Like you said, um, they're number two in the country for a reason. They got some uh, dynamic guys. Uh, definitely got to respect the speed. You see it on the film. And uh, like you said, on third downs, we just got to make sure we uh, keep everything on top and underneath us, take, limit the um, explosive plays. What, what did you think? Because Texas A&M, they had some guys with, you know, two, three, four yards behind the DB. Um, what did you think about that? Because they obviously you can't let that – Happen, but what do you think when you see that happen to somebody else? Uh, I haven't got to watch the a and game. I watched the Missouri game right now. But like I said, I, I know they got speed. But um, starting today, I'll, we're going to look at the a and game. Good, good. Jalen, I know it's a different quarterback for them this year. But what do you remember about last year's game when I think Devontae Smith caught five touchdowns against you? What were they doing so well to, to kind of expose the defense last season? Um. It, well, one, he's a good he's a good uh, receiver, but I think uh, he just had he just found ways to get open. Uh, he had a good connection with Tua, and uh, he made plays when uh, the ball was thrown to him. Hey, Jalen, I know the numbers aren't where you guys want them at all. But is, did you kind of feel like in the second half when you guys got some stops, when you kind of had them had to have them, that maybe that was some building blocks moving forward? A uh, little bit. I mean, overall, none of us are still happy over the performance. Um, it's way too much rushing yards, uh, lack of execution. I think we had a good scheme going into that game. But like you said, second half, um, things started to slow down a little bit. We we made certain um, certain key stops, but uh, overall, just this this week is uh, focused on execution and uh, really locking in on the game plan, just getting better. Is there a specific area that, that you're most focused on? I mean, execution is kind of a, a broad term. Is there one thing that, one or two things that you're really looking at? We really, I, I think everywhere, just tackling, um, assignment, everybody doing their job. Jalen, do you feel like you guys have been more successful in man coverage or in zone this year? Um, I think it's about even. We, we we just got to tackle better and uh, stop the run. Um, what is this thing, What is this system like in terms of balancing those two types of coverage? Do you find yourself in more uh, in one more than the other? Nah, uh, I think it. I I think it's um, I think it's a good system. Uh, I think it's real balanced. We run a lot of zone and man, and also to it with Coach Dirk. It just depends on what team we're playing and. Uh, what we need to do. Thanks. Good Jalen, you touched on it a bit, but how much more frustrating does it make it that one week you guys are giving up a ton of passing yards and the next week it's a lot of rushing yards, just kind of just not really being able to pinpoint one thing? Uh, I mean, it's frustrating, but I mean, it's a long season and uh, we just got to keep getting better. We can't. Uh, we just got to improve, focus on, um, like you said, one week it was passing, now it's uh, the run game. We just got to buy into the um, the scheme, keep working, and uh, just try, try to improve. Limit limit those explosive plays. That's the biggest thing. Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. Jalen, I asked this to Mac too, but just curious, can you tell a difference between playing on the road and playing at home anymore, or with the smaller crowds, does it kind of all feel the same? Uh, honestly, for me, I was kind of surprised. Um, I didn't think it would be any fans at all. You can kind of um, you can kind of tell a difference. I heard I heard the KU fans, but uh, really, for our home game versus Florida, I, I I thought it felt like a real home game. But the away game kind of it wasn't as loud as I would have thought. But it is a little bit of difference. Uh, a little bit. It's uh, it can it can be helpful. It, it's kind of a it's a weird thing when you're in the game. You're so locked in. I don't think you really can hear the crowd until like the play is done with. But um, 
But yeah, that that definitely is a little helpful for the defense. You can um you can hear the cadence a little bit.